Hello all, I hope you are having a fabulous day. Today I'll be sharing with you my bookshelf tour. Last year on my birthday, I posted my very first bookshelf tour. So I decided this year on my birthday, I would post an updated bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoy this video and let's get into the books. So I am short and the top shelf here is very tall. So we're gonna do our best, but I'm sorry if this angle is a little funky. The Tales of Beetle and the Bard by J.K. Rowling. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And I think you know where this is going, but we have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. These are all in the American hardback first editions. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And the script for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child Parts 1 and 2 by J.K. Rowling, John Tiffany, and Jack Thorne. If I try to take this piece of art out, it will fall. But this is just an arts and crafts page I made. It is my favorite JK Rowling quote, and that is the stories we love best live in us forever. Also on this shelf, I have a picture frame that used to be on my grandfather's desk. It's of me, so that's kind of weird, but it's very special to me. I also have my personalization stamp that Manny bought me last year. And I have a time turner that I got at a Ren Fair this year that I absolutely love. I also have a sand dollar in this box from my last trip to California. We went to the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. It is in this box for protection so it stays in one piece. And then I have a bouquet of fake white flowers that I bought for the biannual bibliothon but ended up not using. On my second shelf you will see my Starbucks You Are Here mug collection. I have one from New York which I went to in March and that's when I saw Hamilton and New York City for the very first time. I have one from California, which I got in my last trip to California in August, and I love it. I have one from Ohio, which I obviously bought here. These two are the places I've lived, and these two are the places that I've visited that I've liked the most, and the second one being Washington, D.C., which I went to last August, and this was the first one I bought that started this collection. First up, I have Paper Towns by John Green. This is the UK edition. Manny bought this for me when he went to UK a couple summers ago. So from that same trip, I have Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. And I have The Martian by Andy Weir. The Book Thief by Marco Suzak. Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson. Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly McCright. The Girl of Fire and Thorns. The Crown of Embers. And The Better Kingdom, all by Ray Carson. A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGinnis. These are not in the right order, so I'm going to use this opportunity to fix this. Delirium, Pandemonium, and Requiem, all by Lauren Oliver. Before I Fall, also by Lauren Oliver. The Scorpio Races by Maggie Steve Otter. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. The Evolution of Mara Dyer. And The Retribution of Mara Dyer, all by Michelle Hodkin. Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince. And Clockwork Princess, all by Cassandra Clare. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Angel Fall by Susan E. In Honor and Golden, both by Jesse Kirby. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Landline by Rainbow Rowell. So that shelf was mostly paperbacks, a lot of my favorites or series and books that I want to keep together. And this shelf is the same thing, but with my hardbacks. So a lot of series or favorite books that I wanted to keep together. The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily, Lily Blue, and The Raven King, all by Maggie Steve Otter. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, Walk on Earth a Stranger, and Like a River Glorious, both by Ray Carson, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, all by Suzanne Collins, Fairest, Cinder, Scarlet, Press, Winter, Stars Above, and Heartless, all by Marissa Meyer. The Book Thief, 10th Year Anniversary Edition, signed copy by Marcus Zuzak. The Fifth Wave, The Infinite Sea, and The Last Star, all by Rick Yancey. And going down a little bit, this is my TBR shelf. Kindred Spirits by Rainbow Rowell. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. The Secret Garden. And A Little Princess, both by Frances Hodgson Burnett. Rooms by Lauren Oliver, which I actually have read, so I'm not quite sure why it's on this shelf. Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And Hollow City, both by Ransom Riggs. The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer. 
8,000 Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, Winger by Andrew Smith, Unspoken and Untold, both by Sarah Reese Brennan, Moonglass by Jesse Kirby, The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender, In Real Life by Jessica Love, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and The Girl Who Played with Fire, both by Stieg Larson, November 9, and Hopeless, both by Colleen Hoover, My Sister's Keeper by Jodi Picoult, The Archived by Victoria Schwab, The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness, Vanishing Girls by Lauren Oliver, Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, My True Love Gave to Me, 12 Holiday Stories, edited by Stephanie Perkins, What Light by Jay Asher, The Star Touched Queen by Roshni Choshki, and Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. So this shelf is kind of a hodgepodge of books that wouldn't really fit anywhere else. Some of these I have read, some of these I haven't. All the way to the left, you'll see a picture frame from my graduation. And behind it, I have a few things, including bookmarks, sticky tabs, and the command hooks I use to hang my Christmas lights. First, we have Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. Station 11 by Emily St. John Mandel. Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wynn. Infinity by Jessica Cardo. The Outsiders 50th Anniversary Edition by S.E. Hinton. Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. The Female of Species by Mindy McGinnis. Replica by Lauren Oliver. Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis. As I Descended by Robin Talley. Shadow Scale by Rachel Hartman. My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry by Frederick Bachman. Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. Serafina by Rachel Hartman. This Song Will Save Your Life by Leah Sales. Forget Tomorrow and Remember Yesterday, both by Pintip Dunn. Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepides. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Looking for Alaska by John Green. Panic by Lauren Oliver, A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir, and Wicked by Gregory Maguire. This little shelf is where I house my graphic novels. Some of these are mine and some of these are Manny's, but we'll go through all of them. First here is my iPad case and some letters and items. Lucky Penny by Anthony Hirsch and Yoko Oda. Descender by Jeff Lamar, illustrated by Dustin Nugent. And this is volume one of Mouse, volume one and two. My favorite, Pride of Baghdad by Brian K. Vaughn, illustrated by Nico Enrique. Saga volume one. Saga volume two. Saga Volume 3. Saga Volume 4. Saga Volume 5. And Saga Volume 6. All written by Brian K. Vaughan and illustrated by Fiona Staples. Fun Home by Alison Bechtel. Pretty Deadly, Volume 1, which is written by a myriad of authors and illustrators. And at Volume 1, Presto. And Volume 2, Steelers Keepers. Volume 3, The House of Green Mask by Paul Hover and illustrated by Colleen Coover. Persepolis. The Story of a Childhood, Volume 1, and Persepolis, The Story of a Return, Volume 2, both by Marjane Sedrapi. And finally, Why the Last Man, Deluxe Edition, Volume 1, written by Brian K. Vaughn and illustrated by Pia Guerra. Then all the way at the bottom here, we have my taller books. And you can see kind of off to the right-hand side are a couple of totes. And those are where I keep my library books. I need to go back to the library. The library books that I need to read, I keep on my bedside table. A Court of Thorns and Roses. A Court of Mist and Fury. The Assassin's Blade. Throne of Glass. Air of Fire. And Queen of Shadows, all by Sarah J. Mass. We have Dreams of Gods and Monsters and Days of Blood and Starlight, both by Lainey Taylor, The Diviners by Libba Bray, The Bone Season, and The Mime Order, both by Samantha Shannon, Six of Crows, and Crooked Kingdom, both by Lee Bardugo, The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee, The Secret History by Donna Tart, The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon, How the Grinch Stole Christmas Party Edition by Dr. Seuss, Hamilton, The Revolution, by Lynn manuel Miranda and Jeremy McCarter. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And the last book is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets 
These are both the illustrated editions, obviously written by J.K. Rowling and illustrated by Jim K. That was all of the books on my bookshelf. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you should give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Ooh. Have yourself a merry little Christmas